Hi, <coughs> I'm the number one hazard and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use an application called Handbrake. Handbrake is an application that allows you to convert DVD files or any files for um, any iPod or MP3 file. So you just download the application from the web. Uh, Handbrake it will also allow you to. Um, it's open source, so it's free from the internet. You can download it easily. So it's just loading. And so what it does is you can open up a source. So that means that you can like. If you insert like a DVD, you can like convert it into one file, into like an MP3 or whatever. So it just opens up, takes a while. And there, so all you need to do is like grab a file, which you can't at the moment because I've got no or you can get a video file from like my documents or whatever but once you've done it you can also like grab a title or chapters or whatever so and it also shows the duration you can change the destination and the file format you can also use it for a universal iPod format the normal iPod, uh, iPhone and iPod touch your Apple TV, your QuickTime, and then you've got your Legacies, and then normal and classic, and then the high profile and gaming consoles as well. So like PSP and Xbox 360 and PS3 and Telly and everything. So you basically got it all worked out. And this is this is a bit based on Batch and all that. So it's a bit like DOS, but it just like uses it to convert the files. So you basically grab a source, so I'm just going to try and get a video file and if it doesn't work I'll insert a DVD. So the CLI just reads it so it can process and you just do like the title that you're meant to do and the chapters one through one and then you just choose like a destination. I'm just going to put mine into like my documents or here and I'm going to go like keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to call it that and I'm going to save it as like a um, yeah, MP4 and click save. It shouldn't save yet, but it, it'll save into an MP4. And like the video, you can you can change the codec and the frame the frames per second, and your audio chapters and everything. So it's pretty good. And you just click this, add to queue, and it adds the item to queue. You can also add more if you're wanting. And then once you want to start it, you just click the button and code. And it uses command prompt or CMD to be able to convert it. Uh, it's got it, it takes a while when you're running Camtasia Studio, so I'm not going to convert the whole thing because it would take ages. And, but basically it'll just save the file into like where you wanted it to save which is good and then after you've done it it obviously gets rid of it here you can add as many files to the to the queue and now and you just click start for the queue and each each file you just it does it automatically so it's good to have like heaps of DVDs going at the same time you can also grab a source from a DVD or you can get it from a the DVD folder which is video underscore TS so that's a good little feature on the handbrake. Uh, as I said before, open source product available for Windows, Linux and Mac. 
that in fact it's based on Mac and it can also be used for Linux and Windows as well which is good and you can also add and remove presets which is also cool and set default so it's it's as simple as installing it and being able to use the source start Q show Q activity window and minimize system tray which is good so that when you're doing it it'll just minimize down to the system tray down here which is good because then you can easily use the your computer as well it's good to just keep one item open so it does it faster basically when you're converting it it goes at a certain bit rate and frames per second in order to get the fastest speed possible keep all your applications closed except that application and try to minimize activity between your computer and the internet or something like that so it's best to just make sure that your computer is always just running it at the same speed it can and that's yeah about it with handbrake it's a great tool and open source and free for mac windows and linux so Thanks for listening to my tutorial, I hope you liked it.